Hello, my name is Catherine and I'm going to be teaching you today um, a piece to play on your flute head joint. We're going to make our normal flute sound, mute flute shape, focusing the muscles at the side and blowing across. We're going to use as many sounds as we can on the head joint. So we're going to use a closed end, open end, closed end but blowing it higher and then an open end blowing it higher. Now for the two higher notes we need to push forwards with the bottom lip and just push a bit more air through so um, over blow and we're also going to use this sound so that's using the finger to slide in and out of the end of the flute and we're also going to use the palm of the hand to open up and close that sound there. I'm going to play you the piece and then I'll show you what that piece looks like. piece looks like written down. So now we're going to learn the first line of the music and we're just going to look at the um, different symbols. We've got open circles which is just the normal open end, normal blowing. We've got the closed circles, which has got the palm covering the end, and we've also got the symbol of um, a little arch over the top. That means we're going to play quavers, so we're going to play a little bit faster for those. And at the end of the first line, we've got a slide. So we've got open hold, closed, which are the coloured in ones. We've got the arches, which are faster, and the slide. Let's see if we can play that first line. One, two, three, four. So well done if you had a go at that first line. We're now going to have a little go at the second line, which has got different symbols on it. So we've got a closed hole going to an open hole with a line joining them together. That's where we're going to close off the end and slowly release it. And then we've also got the opposite way around where we're going from an open to a closed, open, closed. Okay, so that's where it's an, uh, an open circle to a coloured circle. So we'll just try a few of those. And then we've also got some circles with arrows pointing upwards. That's where we're going to slightly overblow and push forwards with our bottom lip to make higher notes. So if we try just the last two bars, which are open, closed but higher, be worth practicing those last two bars just by themselves because they are quite tricky. So this is what the last line looks like and let's see if we can have a go at joining in. So now we've had a go of playing the whole piece and you know what all the sounds sound like and how to make them. Um, they're also available, a glossary, 
which shows you what the symbols are and how you play them and also a copy of the piece that you can print out at home if you'd like to have a go at learning that properly and it would be really lovely if any of you wanted to send in recordings of you playing that piece or if you wanted to make up your own head joint piece and you could even make up your own symbols as well we'd love to see any of those if you could do it so have fun enjoy <laughs>